We, 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 hello there. It's been quite a while, hasn't it? It's so good to see you. Well, if I, if I could see you, but it's so good to be back. It's been quite a long while, and partially the reason has been that I haven't really had a good place to record these videos. I used to have my computer in a living room, so that meant I would have to kick everyone out of the room to do some decent recording. But now, finally, we've managed to finish building a new room in our house, which is this room now where I'm sitting and recording this video. So a lot has happened on this server since last video. I've tried to restrain myself from building too much on Project Vegas, but a few things have been built and we will have a look at them soon. I've also built all the place, all the things around the server, but for this project, it's not that important. We may have a look at them at some point because I do do some prototyping back in my base that sometimes reflects what I'm trying to come up with here. So you may remember this building we are standing on. This has kind of been our first building and it also includes the creeper farm. And a while back, Tinis actually went through the entire building and decorated every single floor. I may have given a bit of input here and there, but the main chunk of the work was done by her. So I think we should take a look at a few of the thoughts. We're not going to go through all of them because there's quite a lot, but let's just take a stroll down and see what we can find. So as you can see, there's already been added stuff around the building here, like this uh, park thing and the fence and wall, and we'll have a look at that later. You can also see in the background here, there's some other interesting things that we will also have a look at. First off, yeah, don't mind the bed. It's uh, I do a lot of construction here, and this is basically where I sleep for the most part. Um, but let's let's go and take a look at some of the floors. So there's a staircase going all the way up, and let's uh, let's just put our head in here to see what we have. This uh, this is supposed to be a simple printer, if I'm correct. And see, it's basically just a um, small office. Uh, uh, on each floor, there's like an office, and some of them have like these. Uh, for the boss man, you can see but uh, he can do some writing here and, and, and stuff like that. And there's some interesting decorations here and there. So we'll, we'll probably just jump out and probably cut around a bit here so we can see different uh, floors. See, I also like that we, we did this pattern here that we came up with on each floor. You can basically see it's... Uh, all the way around round. Keep, keep in mind that in here behind there's a creeper farm. So all the way around we put up this pattern here. And I kind of like this this idea here for a watch. You can kind of see that uh, it can go around like this. Tick, 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 tick. Put it somewhere. Um, yeah, and then this is a... Uh, I think this is supposed to be like a company that works with cloth, you know, tailoring and stuff. And we might see there's like stuff around here. And I think there's actually a whole floor dedicated to to that, so let's see if I can find that. And let's just warp over there because there's a lot of walking otherwise. So here, I think we're on one of the floors that does the tailoring stuff. You can see there's some uh, models going on here. Some fancy cupboards here. I kind of like these, they look pretty cool. Um, but I think it's back here that these uh, banners here have been used for, you know, like, looks like cloth and stuff. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on and each floor is Although the main pattern is we have these tables, right? It's supposed to be like a workplace, but each and every floor is unique. And she went through and decorated each and every one of them. So I've already been walking for quite a while um, because there's just so many floors and I really want to show all of it. Maybe we should just fast forward through some of it. Um, but there's a lot of good stuff here. And here, this is actually the cantina. Uh, so people can sit here and eat. And that's again, one of the clocks here. And so there's a kitchen back here. Let's see if there's anything interesting here. Yeah, yeah look here. Here you can do some cooking. You know, there's uh, the oven here and food is being prepared here. Yeah, that uh, that's a lot of stuff. I've seen I've seen a lot of it, but that's a lot, and I can't remember all of it. So this is like watching a lot of new stuff here again. It, it it's quite nice. I actually think I helped build some of this kitchen here, but again, the main credit definitely goes to Tinius. Put a tremendous work into this. And then we are up on the roof. So yeah, I may have fast forwarded through some of it, I probably skipped some of it, but there, as I said, was a lot of flaws. 
So I've kind of tried to avert the camera from a certain direction as there is a building that I'd like to show you. But back when I did it, I actually made a time lapse. And I thought it would be more fun to see the time lapse first. So although it, at least for me, is a bit old, let's have a look at the time lapse. So, it got dark while we were watching that, but let's have a look at it, shall we? So, it's quite a tall building, and I can't remember where I got the design from. I'm pretty sure I just looked up some skyscrapers and built it, and it looked a bit weird for me. And I think after the time lapse was done, I added a bit of extra you know lines at the end here it looked a bit blocky in the beginning but let's just take some distance here i am quite happy with the result the only thing that is missing is the inside there is absolutely nothing inside here oops wrong place except for light so we don't have a monster farm in here but we should be careful because i can still spawn stuff up there uh, I've had that happen before, but you can see it's quite a tall building and it feels a bit small when you're standing inside it. Not small in the terms of, of how high it is, but you know, the room size here. And I really haven't gotten around to decorating it inside. And I'm kind of trying to see if I can get Tinis to help me out with that again. But so far she haven't really been in the mood and it's understandable. It's, it's quite a tall order. And to be honest, I just built the building and I really have haven't got any idea of what it should be initially the idea was that maybe it should be some kind of hotel and maybe it should be that we could have a lobby down here and then have a few hotel rooms on each floor but since the uh, the, the building kind of gets smaller and smaller the higher you get i think it will be hard to you know have like hallways and rooms at least all the way up but we will have to see when we get that far i should have slept um, but let's see if we can Stay with all the monsters. Additionally, what we didn't see on the time lapse is I also added like a parking garage down here and a bit of roads and stuff. And currently there are, oh crap, currently there are no cars or anything in here. And I will probably add that at some point because right now it looks rather bland. Um, and also it's a bit of a blocky, you could say, road here, but that's the best you can do, or I could do, because I wanted to use this um, uh, cyan terracotta here, and you can't do stairs with terracotta, and putting slabs in just makes it look weird. So this is what I what I stuck with, and this just goes on and on for a few levels. I think that's like three levels. Yeah, that's about it, right? Uh, maybe that's a four. Okay, no, that was it. Um, so I will probably put stuff in here. If you have any ideas what to put in here, like. Then let me know. I considered actually making a, a staircase as well, you know, because otherwise right now it doesn't really make sense if you exit your car here, where, where, where would you go, right? You would have to walk down the lanes that the cars are driving from. So it's not entirely done. I kind of need like a, a staircase. I might build it externally, uh, like, you know, like a door flow here and then up if we go out here could be here on the side I actually considered like having some kind of small house thing here where you go up and then maybe that goes into this let's call it a hotel for now 
but I'm not really sure. Anyways, that was that was this building at least. I have made other things as well. As you can see, I'm in the process of building something here. That is not done, so let's ignore that. And I also have a time lapse begun for that. Um, but maybe we should have a look at the park. Maybe we should have a quick sleep first, just to get rid of all these monsters. And we have to wait for the creeper farm to kill them off. So that's probably why I should find another place for my bed. Let's go outside and check. So here we have the park. And there's still all of my clutter here with all the crafting stuff and ingredients. I think before I did this uh, in the last episode, I did not have a prismarine farm. I have that now. I've built a few farms. We can have a look at them at a later video maybe, but I'm adding more and more farms to kind of keep up with the demand of all the materials you kind of need to build. And also, let's just fly far away from here because I actually designed a logo of sorts for this company, right? So basically this here is a 2D version of these statues here. I initially made the statues first and then figured I could put like these billboards up there. It's a simple design. It was kind of inspired by the, what's it called? You know, the underwater thing that makes you able to breathe. The, um, the conduit, I think it's called. And I kind of liked how that, how you build that. And then I was inspired and then I made these things here. Also, I needed something to fill out this park here. Notice that I went with um, terracotta, two different, I think it's lime and green, uh, to kind of give this, I don't know, posh feeling uh, of this is like, you know, well, there's a professional gardener maintaining this place, you could say. And then I uh, just added a bit of shrubbery around this tree I also made. And I kind of concluded after making this tree and redoing it and redoing it and redoing it that I'm not really good at trees, but this is the best I've got so far and I've spent too much time redoing it and redoing it. And I think this is, this is okay. This is like, you know, some trees are pretty, some trees are not, and this is just a huge, big tree. So, and then I also made like a, a trail here, like a natural one, kind of tried to make that appear with the different colors that go in here. And it basically ends up with uh, just a small area with some, with some benches. Uh, I tried playing around with a few different designs. So it's quite a big bench, I guess, but I think it turned out okay. And so you can sit here and do absolutely nothing. And I even tried to use some kelp just to use different blocks. And I think that that, that fits okay under the benches here to kind of give like a, so it's not all grass basically, right? Anyway, so that was it for the park. Let's go and have a look at, yeah, let's have a look at this building here, right? I think in the last video we time-lapsed some of it and I finished all the exterior of it and the interior has been begun. And not by me, but by my daughter. I think daughters, I think. I told them, I have this building, you wanna build something? And then they started and they built this lobby area here. It's quite open and it's still torches all over the place. Haven't really come up with a good way of lighting it yet, but this is supposed to be, I think like a, like a bar of sorts. And this is the reception area. And then you can go upstairs for, I don't know if that's, is this is apartment or a hotel room. We should be a bit careful. I've encountered creepers up here before, because as you can see, they kind of lost interest in the project at some point. Uh, I decided not to continue on it because maybe at some point they, get the, you know, the, the urge to finish it. And I don't want to take that away from them. Um, so there's some funky design with the flooring here, but as I said, I said to them, you can do whatever you want and that's what they are doing. And it's also pretty cool to see what other people come up with. And it's probably not a design that I would have come up with, but uh, I think it's okay. It's, uh, it's hard to judge until the, I know it's done. And again, you should be careful in here because creepers can definitely drop from up there. Another addition to the area is this building here. So uh, I think that's a funny story. What I started trying to do was actually make the office building from the office. I will pop up a screenshot of it here somewhere. And 
converting that to Minecraft looked like, uh, yeah, well, poop. Um, so what I did is I made it taller and then I added these lines all the way around here, what you call it. And that made it look better. And then just to not make it all white, because I've used a lot of white around here, as you may have noticed. I tried to add a bit of color here with, with some of this, um, I think it's uh, cyan colored here. But what's in here, you can maybe even hear it. Well, that's not really an indicator of what it is, but this is a sugarcane farm. So over here, this is being filled with sugarcane and it's probably already extremely saturated because it's quite efficient and it even lags a bit while I'm here. The reason why I build it here is, first of all, I like to have a lot of farms in areas that I am a lot. And when I'm building a lot of here, the creeper farm goes and the sugarcane farm is working, which means I can make paper and then make rockets. I am already in the process of connecting these two buildings. So let's just have a quick look at that. It's a bit noisy up there. So as you can see, it's not really done here. I'm just building some stuff here, like a tunnel. But the idea is that I want the the, um, the sugar cane to go down here through, I want to make some glass pipes with water in it. So water transports the, the sugar canes. And also I want the gunpowder from over here. Let's just quickly go over there because this actually leads up into our gunpowder farm. You can see if you go out here, we are here in this building here. And here we have gunpowder and also quite a bit of it. And there's a bit of junk in there. I get a bit of uh, skeletons and zombies and stuff, but but it's 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 doable. I can sort that out with a system later. But I, then I want that also to go in a pipe of water all the way through here and meet somewhere. And, and then I have a third building in that direction where it should all end up and, but yeah, we can we can have a quick look at that. It's it's not done and there'll be a time lapse of it later, but I'm planning to build sort of like a gas station because you know fireworks are kinda or the rockets are kinda my my fuel. So I'm in the process of building a gas station over there and I haven't really decided this is just the beginning of it and we're not gonna look too closely on it because it might may change radically. And I was hoping to kinda have dispensers where I can just go and grab uh rockets whenever I need it. So yeah, that's the plan for that at least. Also, just noticing, um, I used to have a portal here and it annoyed the shit out of me. So instead, I just built this small tunnel here that now leads into the nether. Oh, we can maybe have a quick look at that as well because I also went ballistic in the nether and started building another hub. So this kind of should indicate a, 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 like a small version of a skyscraper so you can kind of see, okay, this is where you go to Project Vegas. Um, let's just take a quick flight here. And notice it's not done. I'm still uh, a lot of stuff being here. This is actually to Tinnis' base and this is not done. And this also means stuff can spawn up there. So it's not entirely safe here right now. This goes to my secret base, uh, underwater base, secret is not. And let's see, this one goes to uh, our shopping district. And this one here goes all the way to my gold farm. And that took quite a while to build. And of course I decided on a certain pattern. And so a lot of resources went into this as well. And as you can see, uh, we cannot see it here, but this is basically a, what you call it, a hyper road. I uh, I got inspired. I actually took the design from the Hermitcraft servers that they did in, I think it was season six or seven. I actually can't remember. But basically here you have soul sand. There's a carpet on top of it so that nothing spawns there, but the soul sand still works. So if you have soul boots, you can run really fast. And since I do not have soul speed on my boots right now, this goes really, really slow. And then here, this is basically ice. So you can pop a boat and go full speed ahead. The chains are here to keep the boat centered on this. Um, or if you want, you can pop a minecart on it and you can go by cart. And of course, you can also fly. Um, and I just noticed I did not take a lot of damage there because we recently, oh, look at that, we recently patched the server to 1.18, uh, 17. And 
Okay. <laughs> I definitely took damage there. But uh, what sometimes happens whenever we patch, it actually reduces the difficulty. So I'll need to go and check that to make sure that it's still on hard. I see some of my shit actually exploded in here. Um, yeah, because for some reason it resets the difficulty to easy and we prefer to play on hard difficulty. It also gives some benefits in terms of how villagers work and stuff like that, but that's another story. Let's just quickly equip all my stuff again. Let's put on the shield as well, maybe that. Okay, so... There we go. So I managed to smash my head into that. That was amazing. So don't do that. So I think that is just about what I had to show for this episode here. Oh, I also added a helicopter here. I just wanted a chopper. We had like, you know, a helicopter pad here. So there we have it. In retrospect, maybe I should have made the the fans go diagonal. Maybe I'll change that because it looks, looks a bit static now. And I think if I actually made the rotor, what do you call it, uh, go diagonally, maybe it will look like it a bit more lively. Maybe I'll do that. Um, but for now, I think that was it for this video. I know it was a bit... Uh, it was basically us catching up for what I've been doing for the last long period of time. And I could have probably split it up into more videos, but that just felt like me trying to, you know, squeeze extra videos out of things. And I didn't really want to do that. So I'd rather we just catch up. And there's a lot of stuff I've built outside Project Vegas. Like, as I mentioned, additional farms and expanded my uh, underwater base and i know that especially tinius has also expanded her base so maybe at some point we could have a look at that tinius also did a bit of terraforming around here but i think i'll save that for the next video because there's an idea for that as well anyways i think that was it for this video we can find another pen around and actually see a few things here um it's still a bit empty looking from up here but the dream is down the line that eventually when we do like this, there will be like a whole cityscape around us. This is, of course, very far down the line. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you will tag along for the journey when we are building Project Vegas here. And I know it's been quite a while, I think almost half a year since the last video. And I do apologize for that. But now that my living situation has been really improved in terms of recording i will try to get a more steady flow of videos my aim is to have one maybe even two videos out per week so you can look forward to that and i have a lot planned so don't miss out on that if you're new here hit that subscribe button down below also i think people say you need to hit the notification bell there or is it over here so you get notified whenever i put up a new video also Hit the like button down there as well, or even the dislike, and let me know why in other case. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and you'll see me in the next video. Bye!